This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Ron Mexico wants to know who in the world to- told Arn Anderson about Warhorse. If you don't watch AEW, well, shame on you. Uh, and you should certainly follow him on Twitter, but Cody has been doing a bit of an open challenge as of late. And I think even tomorrow night, there's another open challenge. We don't know who will answer that challenge, but a clip came out in the last, I don't know, 10 days or so of you sitting down with Cody Rhodes and talking about open challenges and potential challengers. And you said, what about Warhorse? And he had gotten a lot of steam on the independence before the pandemic and had certainly been entertaining fans on social media, but I'm curious too. Ron asked a good question. How in the world did Warhorse get on your radar? Well, just because I am illiterate where <laughs> computers go. Okay. I have advanced this far. I can look on my phone. Okay. Go to a Twitter account. Yep. Go to an AEW Twitter account. Yep. Go to Con- go to Conrad's Twitter account. My go-to ones that I have to go to, I can go to, and that name, when the fans are talking wrestling and they're talking about what they hear on our show and all this other stuff, names start to pop up. And apparently, this War Horse kid has developed a pretty good following out there in the independent world. And if you think about it, 90% of the talent, I would say, maybe a little high, but 90% of the talent on the AEW roster was in the same position he was in. Yes, sir. They were making the Indies and making the circuit and earning their stripes and uh, paying their dues. And Tony Khan has challenged me with, uh, you know, he's getting these calls coming into his office and guys, you know, requesting an opportunity and requesting just a chance to show who they are that that might have never been on TV. We're sitting down and we're talking about it and how long has he been in? What dues has he paid? What kind of guy is he? Is he a human being? Has he earned the right to walk on this show and challenge Cody Rhodes? And some of these names are popping up and this guy had a huge fan base. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. He's, uh, let's just put it to you that way. He's on the radar screen. And in this day and time, for a lot of guys that would like to be in that spot, that's good enough. If you haven't already, set your DVRs and tune in live. It's a Wednesday night on TNT, 8 p.m. Eastern. Aaron Anderson is out there darn near every week with Cody Rhodes taking on all comers. And, uh, We'll see what happens if uh, Warhorse is going to answer the challenge or how this all turns out. It's one of the great things about, um, I guess that is one of the great things about it being a closed set. Obviously, in a traditional setting, uh, you guys would be live every single week, but in in times where we are now, to sort of you know uh, mitigate whatever sort of risk there may be with travel, if you can load up and do some other shows while everybody's together. That makes sense, but there hasn't been a ton of spoilers come out when you guys have had to put a show in the can in the old days, that would have been nearly impossible, but it feels like AEW and WWE have both done a pretty good job of that with one notable exception for NXT. Are you surprised that no spoilers have come out? Well, I'm, I'm just thankful that the kids understand once it goes out on Twitter, You know, if you congratulate a guy for getting a victory or you shame a guy for getting his ass kicked and you go on Twitter and it's something that's in the can that hasn't aired yet, you just ruined the surprise for all the wrestling fans. That's the biggest crime in all this. If we do have to tape a show following the live show, just so that we make sure we have two weeks of programming for all of you folks that are sitting home, chomping at the bit, waiting on it and wanting to see it because it is fresh. It is current. It is live in most situations. It is always live to tape. So it's a uh, fresh and you want, one of the things that you want to do is, is cut it on without knowing the outcomes and right. watch the, watch the show. So, just to, you know, something in mind for all the talent or anybody that thinks they're 
doing somebody a service or they're doing something cute, keep the results to yourself like you have been doing, and let's make this, you know, fun for the fans because that is our obligation, and that's what we're doing. That's why all these efforts are being made and and uh, all the things that we're doing and sacrificing. It's really not a sacrifice when you understand it's a fan-driven business. Everything we do, we do for them, and let's keep it that way. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.